Hey Jordan, it's uh, Katie Morrow here, and I'm going to help you with this changing the colors on the template quick, if that's all right. I thought it would be easier to show it in the form of a screencast rather than try to email directions. So here's the cookbook theme, and you'll notice there's this little drop down or this pull bar up here at the top left of your sidebar. If you pull that down, you actually have all the color schemes that come with that theme. Okay, now, um, yeah, it only has the green, the orange, the teal, and the brown but you can take any one of those. Let's just take this brown one for example. And when you're editing it above this line in this hidden section, you're actually editing it in the template and it's saved on every page that you add of that type. So I could actually duplicate this and I would just call this one, you know, ch uh, chapter template for a red page, let's say. Um, and then if there's anything that's locked, so like this, um, you can kind of see those little X's around this brown title text box. That means it's locked into the background. So I would just go up to Arrange and Unlock it first, and then use my normal inspector tools to change the fill color. Right now it's filled with a brown image fill, but I would probably just change that to either a color or a gradient, um, and then find the, the red that I want, or maybe the solid color would be better here. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, now that doesn't look all that great, but the same principle applies to absolutely everything on these template pages. So let's say that I wanted the title font to be the same on every page. I could change it to something different here. Um, and you know, the same with an image size, or I could put a little logo like a, a shape down in the corner of all of my pages. Because remember, everything I'm doing here is going to be on every page of this template. So um, now, when I'm when I'm done, okay, I I can pull that back up if I want, um, and I'm going to just delete this first chapter. Yes, I want to delete it. Now, when I go to add a page, there's that chapter red that has the font, the the logo. Now these are locked. I'm sorry, so that logo is completely locked because I did it above this um, in the hidden layout section. So you have to, to be, be aware. Um, one other thing, let's say that you've already built pages of your book and now you want to go back and change the color after the fact. So um, again, I pull this down, okay? And I make changes to it, like let's say that I actually get rid of this now and I change this color to a different one. Here's my inspector, here's my uh, graphics tab of the inspector and I'll change this to a completely different color, okay? Now, um, you'll notice that here it now says apply changes. So when I save that, it will actually apply it to any pages I've already created with that theme. So you don't have to do that at the very get-go, you can do it later on. Just know that any page with that theme will be affected, and um, or any page with that template or, or whatever the proper term is. So um, I think that's all you really need, I think that'll help. If you um, want those same colors to carry out, do it, do something similar or fonts or whatever on all of these different layouts. There's section layouts and page layouts and, and everything. Um, and you can change it page by page, but if you want it to carry throughout um, in an easy, quick way, the layout section is for you. Uh, thanks for your question. Hope this helps.